Okay, first review of muscles that possible we can identify on the cadaver. Let's begin with the muscle of the head and uh, I check your knowledge. <coughs> Tell me please, what muscle uh, covers the cranium? How we name uh, uh, muscle? Occipitofrontalis. Occipitofrontalis or epicranial, which consists of two ventures. Frontalis and occipitalis. Uh, you can see here only bone, uh, ventral front, uh, frontalis absent, epineurosis uh, tendons that unite to ventral, uh, you can see here, and uh, in occipital region will be, will be occipital, ca caput occipital, occipitalis. Uh, on the face we can find mimical muscles that take part in face expression. Because all people different, of mimical muscle. If most of the, bo of the muscle attached to the bone, mimical muscle attached to, where? to the skin. Yes, you're right. And that's why we can express our emotion. Uh, because skin, you can see, removed. So together with skin, some muscle can be removed also. And if you look, we can see very fine muscle fiber here among the adipose tissue. Uh, and what this is, maybe what muscle? Maybe the gamaticus, maybe. What this? This expressed resorius. Uh, I think it's the gamaticus. Maybe, I don't know. I, I'm not sure. But this muscle fiber, this muscle fiber in that direction will be maybe elevator, labi superior, uh, yes? Yeah. This is depressor angulus oris, uh, circular muscle, arbicularis oculi, arbicularis oris. Okay, and uh, most of the muscle that can be on the diagram. Unfortunately, on the cadaver, difficult to identify. But uh, masticatory muscle, uh, what this is, how we name them? Temporal. Temporal and this massive masseter. They act on the what joint? <coughs> Temporal mandibular. Temporal You have class tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, tomorrow, last class before colloquium. Next week will be colloquium. One day anatomical portion, one day histological portion. And uh, that's why what all this time uh, use please. And uh, uh, you have table of the joint, yes? And uh, one columna, next column.